You did one hell of a job, and the only thing else I got to say is, how about Jim Jawan? What up, Cowboys Nation and YouTubers? It's that VA Dallas Cowboy fan coming back at you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting down below. I make these videos for me and you, and they're a little therapeutic. Thought I'd come out here a little earlier today to make this video about the roster cutdown list. The Cowboys have already completed it before the four o'clock Eastern deadline, and a couple surprises on there, but I think it's because, and they've stated that it's to uh, massage the roster so some of the guys that are injured are on the active roster uh, after cut down and then they can bring some of these players back because uh, there was just too many good players this year, to be honest. And that was, I was wondering how they were going to uh, figure this out because it was just too much talent they had for once that it just was too hard to just do, you know, the normal three three uh, quarterbacks and four or five uh, running backs and stuff like that. So they had to make some strategic choices this year. And uh, I want to see how it plays out. This year we released Will Greer and Cooper Rush to massage the quarterback room and hopefully bring them back after roster cut downs, but Cooper Rush doesn't go through waivers, but Will Greer does. So if they really like Will Greer, that's really putting him out there. Hopefully nobody else will pick him up. Um, it's a plan. You just hope that it works and you can get both of them back. Because for some reason they love Cooper Rush uh, I haven't seen anything in him that makes me confident for him, but they want to bring him back. And Will Greer, uh, didn't see much this preseason. He kind of made me sour on him a bit, but they want him back too. <coughs> the running back list is, of course, Zeke Pollard, and I figure Rico Dowd would have made it. Uh, some of the other guys, Champlin and uh, guys like that, probably could have made it but I know like we're not carrying a fullback this year so they got enough room to keep an extra running back and he looked pretty good in preseason we'll have to see if it's the same during the regular season uh, the offensive line is exactly who we thought they'd be uh, it's pretty much everybody who with a name that played during the preseason so you got uh, Tyron Smith Tyler Smith Tyler Biotish, uh, Zach Martin, Terrence Steele, Matt Farniak, Josh Ball, and uh, who else? I think one more guy. And we pretty much figured those guys were going to make it. Uh, tight ends, you got Schultz, Jake Ferguson, and Hendershot, which are great. Uh, Sean McKinn is probably going to get brought back for the practice squad. Uh, but that is a mean looking tight end room. All of them can play as we saw in preseason. So let's hope that carries over. Uh, wide receivers, we're carrying a lot, basically, <laughs> in the wide receiver room. Uh, basically, it's gonna be all the wide receivers that got work this off season because we needed them to get that experience this year. And uh, it's going to carry over into the regular season with a lot of these guys. Uh, we can mix and match. We can do a lot of different things with these guys. So we'll have to see who's going to step it up during the regular season now. Let's see. That's offense. Now we got... I think Carlos Watkins is like the only one out of the defensive tackle room. Uh, Bahana, uh, Tristan Hill, you know, guys like that uh, made it. Osa, 
So we're looking pretty good in the defensive tackle room. They made plays during the preseason. Uh, they stopped the run. Uh, they looked pretty good. They pressured the quarterback when needed to be. Uh, I can't say much more about the defensive ends, uh, defense, uh, defensive tackles, defensive ends, uh, all the guys we thought, you know, uh, Lawrence, Fowler, Williams, uh, guys like that all made it. Basically, everybody's pet cat. Let's see. Corners. Uh, Bland came on strong. He actually, I think he outplayed Nashawn Wright and uh, Calvin Joseph. And uh, that's pretty much the three guys that are going to make it, along with the three starters, Anthony Brown, Trayvon Diggs, and Jordan Lewis. You got uh, safeties. Marquise Bell made it. Uh, Izzy, Mukuamu, he made it. Uh, Curse, you know. All the good guys that we really wanted on this team made the team. Now, <coughs> they had to let go of Brett Maher, uh, Jake McQuaid, and uh, C.J. Goodwin to make for on special teams uh, to make way to keep all these extra players right now. But we know guys like James Washington and Tyron are going on uh, the pup. So they'll be uh, brought back somehow after these cut downs this afternoon and uh yeah that's pretty much our roster man a lot of pet cats made it a lot of guys who showed up in the preseason made it um you know guys like vasher and uh Danucci. Danucci, uh he aside from the side arming stuff i thought he played a lot better this off season he seemed to uh, get a grasp of the uh, offensive playbook a lot better this year and uh, I hope he comes back he looks to be somebody that's actually learning for once and getting uh, better and getting better each year uh, Basher he was a one trick pony he had that one uh, catch in training camp and then he just disappeared during the games uh, and I can't say it's the quarterback play for that one because all the other guys got to go. All the other guys played well, except him. So it is what it is. But our 53-man roster as of right now uh, is set just until after the cut down uh, time. And then we'll see some maneuvers after that. Uh, maybe some new additions, maybe not. So we'll have to see what the Joneses decide after the fact. But right now, it's pretty set. It looks good. I'm ready for the season to start. I hope everybody else is too. But uh, that's it. That's all I want to talk about. I'm I'm a happy person with the lit, uh, roster. I can't complain about it. It is what it is. Uh, the offensive line may be the only real question mark right now. But I think if they can get these guys set up, and cohesive unit every week without any more injuries we should be set but that's all i wanted to talk about i hope you guys have a nice taco tuesday until next time this is va dallas cowboy fan out